so this video is for, to combat a couple of errors that a lot of people have been getting and starting from the tax one of the rest api so i've been getting a bunch of emails and i saw that the, all of the errors people are battling are, are just similar to each other so i'm going to go to each of them one after the other with solutions on what to do if you're getting a particular error to get you started and here i've cloned from this repo and i've renamed it to this airbnb version 3 and i've gone ahead to change directly to the airbnb version 3 and i've listed it so i'm going to open it in vs code And now let's start with the first error I think people are getting. Also, this is a common error that people face. When they try to like if you try to run this test for DB storage and if you are getting this error. This, is, this error is because your MySQL server has been stuffed. It's not currently active. Assuming if we check the status of MySQL, we're going to see that here is in is inactive. So it depends on your system. You can use start. We should turn it on now if we check the status again we see that it's active then again your system could be the tab that is started with um sing system ctl so if you try the service and it doesn't start you can use system ctl to start it so if we try to run this test again Yeah, but the main thing is um, that the test is running. At least you see that you can connect to MySQL. Now, the second error that people are getting is when they try to run the test for, for DB storage. Let me do this from here so we can be able to see the results. Test for DB storage. And we're getting something like this access denied for user HBMB test. The reason for this is that um, in our MySQL server or MySQL shell, we don't have any user HBMB test. So, okay, let's, I'm going to put this up and we are going to go into my SQL shell as root. And I'm going to enter my password. If you installed your MySQL without any password, I think you should just press enter. So here I'm going to say show, what's the command again? I'm going to say select user host from my SQL dot user. This command is going to list all of the users that are in this my SQL. So if we look right here, we see that we don't have any user uh, HBMB test. So what we can do is to create a user and to create this user, we are going to use we already have this um, set of MySQL test. So here we see that on this line we are creating a database HBMB test and then we are creating the user HBMB test and we are giving it the password HBMB test PWD and we're granting a privilege on it on this database and we're giving it to this test which is the user and then also we are selecting performance schema on it. So 
we can either copy this and paste it in here and then press enter that way we've, we've created the user now if we try to list all the users in this my sql we see that we now have hbmb test so but if you don't want to copy this let me get out of here and now list so what you can do is to use this command cut cut everything inside this file you cut it inside the mysql so as root and this should be able to so this should be able to create this so now if we where's the command if we try let's try to run this again and see what we get see so that error is gone so what's the next error if you look at this screen you see that like only 12 percent of people that watch my videos are subscribed so i would love to use this opportunity to say that um, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please support me by clicking on the subscribe button and if you already subscribed thank you very much if you're clicking on the button thank you and the next error is um, when you're done with task 2 and you want to use the file that was given for example and then you want to try to run it which is testgetcam.py and you're trying to run it you get this same error saying that access is denied for user hbmb dev so this error is the same thing with hbmb test it means that this user hbmb dev has not been set up and it does not exist yet in the mysql server so again, we are going to I'll close this terminal and we are going to go inside MySQL and check if HBMB test user, uh, HBMB user exists. How is it done again? So what we are going to do is we are going to first try to retrieve all users. My SQL dot so this should be user. And we see that right here we have HBMB test, but we don't have HBMB user. So what we are going to do is to create a user so what i'm going to do this time is i'm going to use the cat command and we're going to use this setup and we're going to pipe the command into my sql which is going to create the user let me open this file set up my sql dev so you see that here we are creating this user and we are setting the password as HBMB dev pw. So you, what we are doing is you are taking all of these commands instead of sending it or typing it one after the other inside of my SQL server, we are cutting everything inside, which is going to create this user and give the necessary permission to this user. So if we run this, So if I enter my SQL password, if you didn't use a, a password when you install the SQL, just press enter. So this will create it for us. So if we should go back to my SQL server. And if we try to Let's list all the users and see if we successfully created one. 
So we see that we have HBMB dev and HBMB test. So I'm going to exit from here, clear my terminal, and I'm going to try to run that test again. So the main thing is I'm not going to get that error again, but I'm going to get another error because for me, I've not created this. I'm not going to tell these two count method and get method. So please, you're not going to get the first error. So you see that it's telling me that count method does not exist. Another error that people are facing is when they want to test the count and the get method with this command and they are getting in this error the reason for this is because inside your your deep mysql server no row has been added to to the state that's why um when this command makes you run to the database and it retrieves an empty list so right here you see that in this place let me see storage dot oh, so it's trying to like retrieve the first index of all of the values but the value is empty that's why it's, we are getting the index error so all you can do is to first add if we first add a row to the to the state and the name should be I always use Nairobi and we say storage dot new if we pass in state and then we say storage dot save now if, if we save this and if we run this again, we see that we are not getting the index error because we just added a row to the table. So we just retrieved that one row that we added. So another set of error that people come across is when they go to web framework and they download the in front that's it's seven dump and now they want to use this to add rows to the table so they what is it we cut this into the mysql server And then next when they try to maybe now test out this test get count dot by and they come across this error this error here so the reason for this error is because of um, if we open the seven dump the SQL on this line, line 73. This line here, this is what's causing the error. Because um the default chart set is being reset to Latin one. I think the one that um SQL alchemy, alchemy uses is UTF-8. So when we create the table, they've already been set using UTF-8. And right here we are making the dump. We are only modifying the state table and also, also the cities table which means we are just setting both of them to Latin 1. It's only the cities and states we are setting to Latin 1, Why the rest of the tables are using UTFA. So it causes complications. So all you can do is to, to remove all of this line so that both states and table, we always be using UTF-8. And then we are going to come back here and we are going to make this dump again.
So this is the password I use when I installed my SQL. It's a long one. If you didn't use any password, you, didn't, you don't have to enter nothing. Just press enter. If you use the password, enter your password, press enter, and we get the SQL dump. Now, let's try to test this again. We shouldn't be getting that error. So we see that we retrieve the objects. I don't think there's any other error. So I guess at the beginning of task one, if the first thing anyone would want to do is to try to run the this command to test. And instead of getting OK, we are getting this printed. So if you go to, I think it's coming from test amenity. There's a line here where something is being printed out. OK, so it's coming from this line. If we take away this line and then try running this again, So you see, we are, we are getting two failures. So let's try to fix this before we move on. I don't know if we fixed it before. But I really need to see what test is failing. So I'll run it again. Um, the first one is where? Coming from test base model. By 157. This is where. Oh, I think I've dealt with this test before, have I? Okay, it's checking for both of the tether and the tether. So. I think it's because. Um, Due to how fast the code is being run, there's no difference between the time. So what we can do is to say time dot sleep. So we can pass 0.5, which is 0.5 seconds. If we run this test again, this should be fine. Okay, so we see that that one is out of the way. So next one is um, online, it's some base model, online 8.8. Online 88. Here, yeah. so we see that it's saying that tick is now less or equal to instant that's created, and this is now less or equal to talk. The reason for this is should be working, it's just that inside this test based model, we are using date time dots now, which is the current updated method. But if we should go to the models and we go to base model inside this base model. We see that a VS Code is cancelling this out. It's trying to tell me that this is duplicated. So we have to use now instead of UTC now. So we're going to look at every UTC now and do the same. So after this, let's run the test again. I'll clear my screen and run the test again. So we are not having any issues.